Hi, Kelsey. Hello. Cheers. Cheers. If you notice, Kelsey is in Camp Contigo. I am. Just got to point that out a little bit yes. here. For those. Big fan. Yes. Awesome. Um, for those of you that aren't aware, Kelsey here is a member of our customer care team. Mm -hmm. And uh, she hasn't been around to be on right now mm -hmm. for a little while because she just had a baby. I did. Yeah. So congratulations yes, there. You. So um, how's, uh, how's mom life? You it's know. good. It's it's exhausting. Yeah. I'm sure any parent would agree. Of course. Uh, but he's he's very cute. He's almost four months old. And nice. He just started laughing, so oh, we're having a lot of fun. Yes. So, yeah. That's it's really best. cute. I like newborns. I think they're very adorable, but they're like they're like dolls yeah. almost. You're like you're you're not you know what are you doing here? Like interact with me a little bit. I'm honestly glad to be past <laughs> that phase. Yeah. This is a lot more fun. Yes. Yeah. It only gets better. That's I promise I mean. you. It only gets better. Um, very cool. So mm -hmm. um, you're on our customer care team. You've been here for a number of years now, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, uh, you. One of the things you're known for is you have small hands. I do. Um, as you may notice, like if you look yeah. at me and Kelsey's hands, very different sizes. Yeah. Um, so uh, that makes a difference. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think what ends up happening is customer care ends up fording. Yes. A lot of the, if you've ever asked us about pens for small hands, you've probably spoken to me. <laughs> there you go. So what, uh, I mean, I don't have small hands. This is like a struggle that I don't have in my mm -hmm. life. Uh, I'm more on the opposite end of the spectrum. Yes. So what difference is there for people with small hands versus gorilla hands like myself? Yeah, so I would say I tend to need to use pens that are on the lighter side because heavy pens just, they feel extra heavy in my hand. Mm. And then I also tend to use shorter pens um, and also pens that are thinner. So, I mean, pretty much everything on the smaller end of the spectrum. Okay. Um, I mean, even like I was thinking about this morning, pocket pens I think are great for everyone, but specifically when you have small hands, you can really take advantage of them. Yes. So like, I love the Kuego Sport. I know some people just think it's the tiniest pen, but I mean, <laughs> look at this, it fits right in my hand. It, so it looks great. very appropriately yes. sized in your hand, yeah. Very sure. cool. Do you have a nib size preference? I I love a medium nib. Yeah? yeah. I like pens on the broader side. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And this is a fine because I use it in a lot of different circumstances. I actually use this every night in my some lines a day, and it, it's perfect for that. Cool. Um, but yeah, I, I usually use a medium nib. Okay. Fair enough. And what else you got here? You got a Safari? Yeah. So I brought a Safari specifically because it's an example of a pen that's lighter. Okay. So I can't always post pens because my hands are smaller. Okay. But the Safari, I can because it has such a light cap mm. that it doesn't feel back weighted. Gotcha. Uh, and it, it fits really nicely in my tiny hand. You really do have tiny hands. I do. No, I'm looking they're, at they're pretty much the size of an average eight year old, I'm pretty sure. Really? Yeah. How do you know that? Have you like gone around to eight year olds? Well, no, but like, I, will, I will say when my husband went to buy my engagement ring, uh -huh. he told them my ring size, and they're like, I think you're mistaken. He was like, No, really, that's your ring size. Like, I promise you're not a child bride. Like, wow. This is genuine. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, do, do you have any pens? Do you find that there's like a threshold? Like, you can go up to a certain size pen, and then it's like, no way. You're I wouldn't like, say there's a threshold thing. because like, for instance, the 580, I would have thought this would be too big for my hand because yeah. it, I mean, it's a heavy pen, but because you can't really post it, some, for some reason it works. Okay. Like it fits in my hand. It It's not as long, especially since you don't post it. Right. right. So sometimes it's just trial and error for me, just okay. holding a pen. Sometimes I'll look at a pen and think, oh, that, that'll work. And then I hold it and I'm like, no, that nope. does not feel good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting because I remember um, talking about nibs a little bit in, in Lamy when, I guess it was maybe a year ago when we first got the Lamy oblique nibs, mm -hmm. the spare nibs. Uh, the whole team, I wanted to be like, pass them around because we don't have a lot of oblique nibs, mm -hmm. um, especially, you know, steel nibs. So we were passing them around to the whole team and letting everybody try it. And everybody was like, what is the, how does this thing work? And they're like, I don't really like this. And all that, and oblique nibs are one of those things where it's not for everybody, mm -hmm. um, but certain people, the way they hold their pens, it just like works. And I remember you picked it up and you were like, oh, this is amazing. I, was like, <laughs> I don't know what everybody's complaining about. I everybody this. else, it was like dry and scratchy and like just, they couldn't like hold it right. And you mm -hmm. were just like, it yeah, was amazing. Yeah, I thought it was great. Yeah, so you know, if you got any questions about oblique nibs, I guess you can reach out Send, to Kelsey. Come my way. Yep. If you have small hands and prefer oblique nibs, mm -hmm. Kelsey's your I'm cow. happy to help. <laughs> exactly. So, um, you know, being on our customer care team, you know, um, you've uh, you've been the lead for the customer care team. Mm -hmm. uh, now you're like kind of transitioned. Yes. You know, you're part time now, mm -hmm. kind of easing back into things. Um, what's been like some of the most memorable moments that you've had 
since you've been here at Goulet? Yeah, uh, I would say sometimes just the customer interactions. I mean, I've been able to talk on the phone for some, with someone before and end up not even talking about pens at all. We'll find out something mm. we have in common. I'm from Georgia, and so I'll find out someone lives in the area I grew up in, and we'll be like, oh, you got, you went to high school there? Oh, yeah, I know that area. And so <laughs> just cool. the, the fact that we can actually talk to people on a, just a different level here. Yeah, uh, I that's would say very cool. Very memorable. That's awesome. Yeah. Very cool. And uh, yeah, do you have any ink preferences? I'm curious. Yeah, so I'm sure I... you get asked all the time, like, I, what inks do you recommend, or what do you like, or whatever? I'm a big fan of the Monteverde inks. Yeah? I, I think they're underrated. I don't I I just love them. I think they flow really well. They have some great colors. Monteverde Horizon Blue. The team teases me because I use it almost in every pen. I mean <laughs> I love it so much. I don't blame you. It's a I great mean, color. There's definitely like certain team members, like I think of Jeremy specifically. Like mm -hmm. everybody knows like Apache Apache Sunset's yep. like his jam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, is everybody on the team like that? Like everybody's got like their one go to no. ink or no. no? There's I, I would say most of the team likes to use a different color for everything. Okay. I mean I like this color so much that I was asking Drew for samples so often he gave me a bottle. <laughs> just so I would <laughs> nice. stop asking. <laughs> just like this will save me time. Yeah. Here, just give you a whole bottle. Awesome. Um, and that's a, you know, I'm sure you didn't intend to plug this, but we do have our deal right now, which I think I yes. keep forgetting to mention mm -hmm. on right now, but um, starting October 1st, we're doing a free bottle of 90 mil Monteverde ink Great deal. with any of the pens that Yaffa, who's the distributor that owns Monteverde, that they sell. So that includes Monteverde, Stipula, Conklin, Peniter, Online, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. There, yeah, there is another one. Uh, I have a note I'm on my desk it. so I'm that I can tell it. people what it is. Yeah, I'm totally forgetting it. But anyway. Check out our website. Natuno. <laughs> Natuno. Yes. So, uh, yes. You can definitely check that out. Mm -hmm. Get yourself some Horizon Blue. Yes. I remember that was one of the ones last year because we did the same deal last year. And we'd stocked up on Horizon Blue and it like... So yeah, it's still, sold, it's out. still sold out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we were like, all right, reason. let's expand it out. And then all the rest of it sold it out. And we were like, oh, okay, we need to get more ink. Good problems to have, though. It's true. You know. mm -hmm. Have you used the Monteverde DC Super Show Blue? I have. Okay. How does that compare to Horizon Blue for you? Um, are you talking about the Private Reserve? No, I'm talking the Monteverde. Oh, no, I have not used that. Oh, I see, that came out reserve. when you weren't here. Yeah, these so things are So you got to get educated. Okay, yeah. I have not okay. tried that I one yet. I love it right there, so we'll have to check it out. It's great. You like it? I'll yeah. swab it up. We got, All a, right. we got a couple minutes here. I did, um, I'm gonna come for the game up. Ugh. The Monday matchup, <clears throat> like a week ago, I used it. It was great. I liked it. I'm excited to yeah, see it. Yeah, it's good stuff. So, I, uh, I'm a big blue ink fan. I have a, I have an inked up in a pen somewhere. Let's check it out. Okay. Pretty sure I've got it in here. Now, I think it's, if I'm not mistaken, it's a little bit darker than Horizon Blue. Ooh. You like? Yeah. That is very nice. Now, these cards are a little absorbent. Mm -hmm. I've got it inked up. Now, this is probably the worst pen for you because it's a <laughs> huge, heavy pen, but it's just what I happen to have inked up with this DC Super Show. And I have an A Visconti stub. Oh, that's nice. You like that? Yeah. It's a little, I feel like it's actually a little bit brighter than the Horizon Blue. Is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. They're similar. Um, we have to compare on like similar papers, you know. Yeah, so this has, I mean, this is a very fine nib, but this has that ink in there. Okay. Let's give it a shot here. Check it out. Okay. Yeah, yeah so I would right. say that the it's Horizon Blue is, yeah, it's, it's, a, a it's a little more subdued. Okay, there you go. And you show it on the camera. And again, it's in a much finer nib, but you can you can see the difference in the colors. Nice. Cool. Very yeah. cool. Well, we'll see if we can switch you away from Revolving Horizon Blue. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to get a sample of that today. I am Absolutely. A fan of it. Well, bring your pens over and we can ink it up. I got a bottle here, so no worries. Um, so, anything else you want to say to our beloved fans before we head out for the day? or? I mean, just like I was saying, we love when you interact with us. So, in customer care, feel free to email us, live chat us. We, we really enjoy helping you. Pick out your pens or troubleshoot your pens. Just 
Don't or ever talk, hesitate to reach out. Or talk about small towns in Georgia. Yes. You know, you can do that too. Anytime. <laughs> Very cool. Well, thanks for coming on, Kelsey. Yeah, it's been for awesome. Me. Absolutely. Um, hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday and a great rest of the day. Thanks for watching and right on. Right on.